Well, that was fun. That was absolute sheer fun. Uh, Al Ruddy, who's the producer of that, came on the set uh, one day. Now, he, he was dear friends with Gene Reynolds because they, they had done Hogan's Heroes together. Al was uh, one of the creators of that, and Gene had uh, directed the uh, Hogan's Heroes. And so uh, Al said, look, I got this movie I'm going to do, and we have this crazy chic, and we'd like for you to, to play it, and we'll give you star billing in the, in the movie, etc." So I said, oh, my, that's, that's fantastic. And I had known Burt Reynolds before anyway. And so I, I grew the beard and everything, and I couldn't believe it. We went on location. Hal Needham was the director. And the names that were in that movie, I could, Roger Moore, uh, 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 I'm trying to think of the, uh, the gal's name. She was the wife of some famous person and... and uh, Dean Martin and Sammy Davis and Dom DeLuise and uh, I'm trying to, I don't know if that one was Charles Nelson Riley was in that one or not, but I mean, it was, went on and on and on. Um, that wasn't the one with Shirley MacLaine, it was Adrian Barbeau and some of the other uh, great names, uh, Richard Keel, I think Burt Condy was it, Jackie Chan. So uh, we go on location and uh, we, were at, we were in Las Vegas at one point, I think. Then we went to uh, Decatur, Georgia, I believe. And it was in the summertime. And it was really hot. I mean, it was unbearable. Mel Tillis, uh, I remember, was in it. And uh, I'm trying to remember who his partner was in the, in the car uh, thing that they had. I don't know if it was Buck Owens or maybe it wasn't Buck Owens. It was Roy Clark. I at any rate... Uh, so it's really, it's like 2 a.m. and it's sticky hot, you know, that, that summer southern heat. Everybody's perspiring. It's late at night. We're by the swimming pool. I think a car is supposed to go into the swimming pool and we're all dying out there. Perspiration's coming out and Roger Moore walks out. He's got this white suit on. He's got a flute of chilled champagne and a cigar and there isn't a bead of sweat on him at all. And we're all looking at him and we're, we, we'd like to strangle the guy. Look like he stepped right out of GQ magazine, you know. <laughs> Not a beat of sweat. Everybody's dying out there. <laughs> anyway, it was one happy family. We all get together. We'd all go out together to a restaurant at night. Uh, Dom DeLuise would go in the kitchen and cook. We'd go to a mama and pop uh, Italian restaurant. I think it was the second one. That's the one Telly Savalas and Frank Sinatra and uh, uh, Dean and Sammy, and I remember we'd, we'd all, Shirley McLean, and we'd go to the restaurant, Don would go right in the kitchen, and everybody would bring out the food, we'd all be one happy family. Uh, I'm trying to remember, one, the, the one story that, uh, that we had was, uh, uh, trying to think of, uh, Telly, Telly Savalas, he, uh, he was doing Ford commercials at that time, and so they gave him Ford cars to use. And he had his brother George, uh, no, his brother Gus was with him. And at any rate, Telly liked to drive a limo. So he had a limo with him. And he'd have a cap and he'd drive the limo. And he'd have George and me, uh, I mean, Gus and me sit in the back and we'd go to a Greek restaurant. <laughs> but Telly draws our driver. <laughs> I mean, all these people were really crazy. A fun, fun time. I remember when Frank Sinatra came on the set. Everybody was there to watch uh, Frank do his scene, and uh, I didn't. I, I had a golf match. I, I wasn't scheduled to shoot, so I went out and I played golf. It was at a public golf uh, course, and I had this little bag with me, and I had a, uh, a a religious medal that my grandmother had given me. It looked like it was expensive, but it wasn't. And I had it in a bag. And I tucked the bag underneath in the car. It, we went to this public golf course to play golf. And somebody had taken a baseball bat, hit the glass in the car, and stole my bag. And they thought that that medallion was worth a lot of money. And uh, jokingly, I said, gee, Frank, if I had known you wanted me to come, you didn't have to do this. I would have watched your performance, you know? <laughs> Turns out they found the guy, he tried to peddle it, and uh, the they, cops found it, and I got my medallion back that my grandmother gave me. I have it upstairs in the, uh, in the place. But it was so much fun. It was like one big party after another. And you'd go to dailies, and everybody would have drinks sitting there. Watching. They, I mean, who invites you to the dailies? Usually they don't want you to see them at all. 
we'd all be in there laughing and having drinks. Uh, the, the movies got terrible reviews, but made a lot of money 